For today's buttercream flower piping tutorial, we will be making these two-tone cherry blossom flowers. All of the information for the coloring as well as the striping method can be found down below. We'll be using a number 101 tip and I like to use a flower nail and parchment paper. We'll begin by piping a few individual petals and to do this you need to rest the narrow end of your piping tip on the flower nail with the wide end facing out. You will apply pressure and spin your flower nail while pulling up towards the outer edge and then dip back down towards your center point. I love the way that these individual petals look on a cherry blossom cake. Now we're going to move on to the full flower. So with the narrow end at the center and the wide end facing out, hold your tip at a 30 degree angle. Apply pressure while spinning your flower nail and pull up towards the outer edge. Pull back down towards the center to finish each petal. You will notice that my piping tip is just moving up and down and the spinning motion of the flower nail is what is creating each of these petals. I love the way that the center looks with the darker buttercream accent. You can actually pipe this the other way around with the narrow end facing out and that will give you a more ruffled edge on the outside of your flower. I prefer my cherry blossoms with a cleaner edge so I do it this way. So now that we have completed the five petals, we're going to come in with a number one tip and any small round tip would work. And I'm just using some of the darker shade of buttercream to add three small dots to the center to finish off my cherry blossom flower. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, I'd appreciate it so much if you would like or subscribe and make sure to check out the description box below. It has tons of great info for you.